Probably like seven or eight, and uh, I saw it at the uh, video store. You now the VHS is printed it, and I was hooked from the word go. Hooked it, it was awesome watching the old ones. Uh, you know, there's no weight classes, a 300 pound guy versus, I can still remember, I can't remember their names, but there was this little guy and this big guy, and the little guy just started just throwing leg kicks, and eventually there was a bruise on the guy's thigh about that big, and eventually stopped him with leg kicks. It was just amazing watching this, this little guy tear up this, you know, 300 pound guy. It was awesome. I am probably the funniest guy that no one's ever met. Uh, I just like to joke. I'm not serious. I, I, uh, I actually get in trouble a lot from my wife and my friends and family because they like to have serious conversations with me, but I can't. I'm just an easygoing guy. And it's funny because uh, when people first meet me and I tell them I'm a fighter, they're like, oh, this guy's a dick, and you know, everyone gets that thing. But I'm an easygoing guy, carefree, easygoing, funny, like to joke around a lot. The only time I get pissed off is when I'm driving. And other than that, I just I like to laugh, I like to joke around. But uh, in, the, in the cage and in the gym, I'm a pretty serious guy. I think it's only in certain people. I think some people, only certain people are born with a knack to, that they actually want to fight. They, they, uh, it, it's born in them. Uh, you, you can't build the fighter. They're born that way. It's, it's in them. You can't, you can't tra train a champion. A champion is born with the heart, the will, the dedication. Um, a mediocre athlete can be a great fighter. As long as it's dedication and, and their heart. And really, it's heart. You can take a beating for two rounds and come out in the third and still convince yourself to win. It's that's what it is. It, it's hard. MMA is, is a human chess match. That's what it is. You got one person who is good in one particular aspect, wrestling, striking, or jiu-jitsu. You got another guy who is going to try to counter with his best aspect, whether it be the same thing, wrestling, striking. So you have a ground fighter against a striker. A striker is going to try to implement his movement, his hands, his strikes to nullify the guy's takedowns and submissions. It's not cockfighting at all. It, it's basically it's a human chess match. You're trying to outwork a person, especially if you have two ground guys. That's what it is. I mean, that's purely a chess match. One move, one wrong move, and then, you know, you're tapping. Your arm's gone. You're, you're unconscious. So, yeah, the fight went really well. I went in there. I was uh, I had an open combo. I think it uh, it sh surprised him for sure. Uh, I've been working a lot of my stand up on my movement, and uh, I think I was picking him apart pretty good. He didn't he didn't like it, so we tried getting to the ground. He got me to the ground a couple times, so I was able to fight back to my feet. Um, and then uh, once we got back to the feet, I was still, you know, just pouring it on uh, with a stand-up. And uh, he get me back to the ground. I think we I ended up getting on top of him for a bit. He threw up a triangle choke. I was able to escape. We had a little bit of a scramble. Got back to our feet. Uh, he took me down again and kind of finished the first round in half guard. Uh, came out in the second round, and I started picking him up hard again. I went through this crazy knee that I don't remember throwing. And uh, he kind of he, he caught him a little bit, and then he took me down off of it. And uh, I was able to scramble and uh, got my hand around his neck. And um, once I felt it, uh, I went for it, went for broke, and he tapped. I got the guillotine choke. Every fight is, uh, you know, a stepping stone, trying to see where I'm at. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I, I feel confident. I feel ready. You know, like I said, you know, you put anyone in front of me, it's going to be a war. It's going to be a fight. Win or lose, whoever I fight will know they were in a fight. Uh, this morning I was in lifting at the gym. I was just uh, I was here just wrestling, doing some wrestling. I'll be in tonight for jujitsu, and then uh, I'll probably take a day or two off. I, when you win like that, you don't want to you don't want to take time off. I really don't. I want to get right back into it. I know that the next fight the next fight's always going to be the hardest, so I just want to get back into it and uh, work on my um, work on a few things. I noticed that uh, I did do wrong. I noticed that my hands were low a lot when my kicks went through kicks. I was my hands were down right here. I was you know, looking like a fool. So I got to work on that, keep my hands up. And um, he got me down against the ground. Uh, got me down a few times, which we've been working on. Um, but uh, it was just a couple things that I didn't hit that I should have. Uh, like he got a bunch of single leg takedowns, and I've been working on that. But I guess I got to go back and work on it some more. So just a few things I got to work on and really start drilling.